So, now that, let me talk about angles. You see, this device assumes it knows what you need in terms of a primary angle. These devices assume that they know what's good for you in terms of a primary angle. You know, this system assumes it knows what you need in terms of a primary angle. But you know what? It's a faulty way of thinking. Determining your primary angle has to be done on experience and not by some kind of a formula. You know, some people say, oh, well, we need a 22 degree included angle on our primary edge or 15 degrees or 30 or for razors you need this or for kitchen knives you need that. That whole method of thinking doesn't take into account the relative metallurgy of the blade. Understand that a blade of finer quality steel can be sharpened down to a lower or a more acute angle than a blade of lesser quality steel and still withstand repeated use slash abuse. It doesn't take into account exactly what the blade is going to be used for. People say, well, kitchen knives need to be so many degrees. Well, a kitchen knife used for uh, cutting acorn squash is a lot different than a kitchen knife used for slicing you know, sashimi, raw fish, or making a beautiful artistic tomato slice. You need different edge geometries for that. And lastly, it doesn't take into account the relative skill of the knife user. Some people who are very careful, picture a sushi chef, they're careful with their knives. They sharp, they take, they take every day before they start work, they take 15, 20 minutes and they get their knives into razor sharp condition. Well, do you see them slamming their knives around, letting it hit into the other cutlery and other tableware and plates and pots and things like that around the kitchen sink? No, when they finish using their knife, they wipe it off carefully. They set it down carefully in a place where nothing else is gonna contact the edge. They can live and use an edge that's way finer than somebody who's, you know, the bull in the china shop kind of person. So this whole idea about what primary edges can be, there's no substitute for experience. Again, the fault, faulty thinking of angles. Well, if you tell me that I need a 15 degree angle, how, how could I maintain that by freehand on the stones anyway? You can't. Well, you say, well, maybe you could use a jig or a device or one of those roller devices that you clamp the blade in, you, can, you clamp the blade in and you just roll it over the top of your stone, for example. Yeah, that, that'll give you a, a set angle, but here's a problem with all jigs and devices, by my way of thinking. Anytime you go to sharpen with a jig or device, already in your mind, you have delegated the responsibility of getting that blade sharp to the jig or device. You don't take responsibility for it yourself. And what's worse is that when you use these, whatever the device is, you know, something like this, or one of these uh, devices that have the, uh, the ceramic rods already in there. You go through the motions to get the blade sharp and you may or may not get it sharper, that primary edge. But one thing's for sure, you won't be any smarter for having done it. You won't have gained anything in the terms of experience. When you sharpen freehand, every single stroke you take, every effort you make is yours, yours to keep. You gain knowledge, you gain experience, you gain muscle memory, the, the very act of doing it, opens up more questions, you know what to ask, you know what to look for. Uh, this is the way you master a skill, is doing it freehand. And you can do it, because everyone who's been watching my videos up till now has had great results, so you can too. Take your jigs and devices, throw them up on eBay and get rid of them. Get some money, get yourself a good set of stones. That's my, you know, I'm not just trying to be a wise guy here, that's really my advice. Uh, you need to learn how to do this freehand so that you can master these techniques. Angles, when you sharpen the same knife on the same stone five or six times, and then you actually use that blade in the field, in the kitchen, uh, wherever you use knives at your place of work, you will learn intuitively what kind of, you know, how much you need to raise the back of that blade off that stone to create a new primary edge for your cutting task. After you've spent the five or 10 minutes sharpening your knife, when you're using it, take a second to look at the primary edge. See, is it holding up to repeated use? If you start to see little dimples, little waves in the edge, or heaven forbid, any little chips in the edge, you back off, say, oh, I finally crossed that threshold where I've actually gone too thin. I mean, I challenge you to do that. Go too thin, almost nobody ever does. But if you do, then you get out your stones, you come back, and literally in 30 seconds, you just raise the, that angle just a little bit higher, and you stroke that, Stone, that blade against that stone three or four times, you, you, you grind off just a super thin steel at the very, very edge, 
and now you've got an edge that's robust enough for whatever you're doing. It's so easy to adjust, so easy.